to the home of the black titanic after obama ordered the assassination of the leader Gaddafi, many africans were forced into slavery so to escape they took to the mediterranean sea where many died this bears similarity to the blacks who was on board the titanic but there was no lifeline so many perished and was buried under the sea again welcome to the home of black titanic by now you'll never know if you don't have a trusting relationship that relationship is expiring is it something that you're trying to hide from me because you're not answering the question am i trying to hide something i asked you a direct question i just expected a direct answer do y'all know that i finally figured out what's teacher problem with melody I often wonder why all those people, everybody talk all over the internet, everybody talk about my soul, possibly is a cheater. And then we find out that it didn't just start while he were on the internet. Kiki came in and confirmed that it started way before, uh, um, way before they got on the internet, I mean the TV. It, and Ms. Wagner said that when they got married, uh, he never spent time at home. Come in at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning or sometime all night. So Ms. Wagner said in the beginning, she felt like he was cheating. But anyway, let's read these. These girl, right here, y'all. Girl, male don't want him, so pipe down. Arthur said, I don't keep it real. Facts. Veronica uh, Smith to, to JT Jones. Absolutely. She's so insecure. I know Mel don't want Marsu, but I do understand her point. Uh, Marissa at, at JT Jones. Exactly, Mel have time and it's not like if she asks him to bring her a bottle of wine she too insecure and if she doesn't stop acting that way she will lose her husband my suit flirts with melody though he really do he be eyeing that girl yep she's ambitious and business minded they think alike i think my suit sees mel as his equal I think if he could trade Tisha for Mel, he would. And Tisha know that. Tisha knows that, y'all. Tisha, that's her problem with Mel. Yes, they both are snakes. I see them together. Oh, my God, that's somebody that didn't like Melody. All right, y'all. So now we know. Well, I, this is my opinion, is that the reason that she keep coming up, Mel, got so much anger off Mel over her husband is because she feels like her husband is attracted to Melody. Do y'all know that I finally figured out what's Tisha problem with Melody? I often wonder why all those people, everybody talk all over the internet, everybody talk about my soul, possibly is a cheater. And then we find out that it didn't just start while he were on the internet. 
Kiki came in and confirmed that it started way before, uh, um, way before they got on the internet, I mean the TV. It, and Ms. Wagner said that when they got married, on, he's never spent time at home. Come in at three and four o'clock in the morning or sometime all night. So Ms. Wagner said in the beginning, she felt like he was cheating. But anyway, let's read these. These girl, right here, y'all. Girl, male don't want him, so pipe down. Author said, on keep it real. Facts. Veronica uh, Smith to, to JT Jones, absolutely. She's so insecure. I know male don't want Masu, but I do understand her point. Uh, Marissa at, at Jatane Jones, exactly, Mel, have time and it's not like if she asks him to bring her a bottle of wine, she too insecure. And if she doesn't stop acting that way, she will lose her husband. My suit flirts with Melody, though. He really do. He be eyeing that girl. Yep, she's ambitious and business-minded. They think alike. I think Marceau sees Mel as his equal. I think if he could trade Tisha for Mel, he would. And Tisha know that. Tisha knows that, y'all. Tisha, that's her problem with Mel. Yes, they both are snakes. I see them together. Oh my God, like that's somebody that didn't like Melody. All right, y'all. So now we know. Well, I, this is my opinion is that the reason that she keep coming up, Mel got so much anger off Mel over her husband is because she feels like her husband is attracted to Melody. The Terrier's name is Peyton Gendron. That's his name, y'all. Look how they arrested that young man. Commit. This is the worst nightmare that any community can face. We say 13 people were shot, 10 of them killed Saturday afternoon at this top friendly market in Northeast Buffalo. Crazy dead bodies inside the store. Tonight, authorities say they've arrested the alleged gunman, identified as an 18-year-old white male from Conklin, New York. The shooter was not from this community. In fact, the shooter traveled hours from outside this community. Buffalo warns mass shooting victims. May the 15th which is uh, maybe about uh, the seventh year anniversary of the Charleston ma massacre with uh, Dylan Roof. In a few more weeks, it would be seven years that Dylan Roof walked in the church and killed all those people. The, most of them was elders. But anyway, May the 15th, 2022, Buffalo, New York, people gather outside the Topps Friendly Market at Jefferson Avenue and Riley. I don't know what happened, y'all. Hold on. According to the Associated Press, on May the 14th, a white gunman in military gear attacked it, shoppers and workers at a supermarket killing 10 people and wounding three others. Most of the victims were black. Officially, officials say they are investigating the shooting as a racially motivated hate crime. And indeed it should be, but it is a terrorist act. Woman, President Joe Biden. President Joe Biden. 
about a year ago, in March, there were some parlor murders in Atlanta. Approximately eight Asian women lost their lives in three separate parlor shootings in the Atlanta metropolitan area. It took place in March, maybe the 17th. Don't quote me on the date. Our condolences to those who lost life. Within 72 hours of the Atlanta parlor murders, Within 72 hours of the Atlanta parlor murders, within 72 hours of the Atlanta parlor murders, the president and vice president of the United States were in Atlanta meeting with the Asian community. Let me say this again. Eight Asian women lost their life in Atlanta. Our condolences to the families. Within 72 hours of the Atlanta parlor murders, the president of the United States and the vice president of the United States were on the ground in Atlanta meeting with the Asian American community within 72 hours of the massacre. So my question to President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, my question to President Joe Biden and to Vice President Kamala Harris. My question to the chief of all police in the U.S., President Joe Biden. And the assistant chief of all police, commander in charge and assistant commander in charge of this country. Are you going to keep the same energy for our Buffalo, New York family? Or are you going to keep the same energy for our African Buffalo, New York family that you had for the Atlanta Asian family? Or are you going to keep the same energy for the Africans of Buffalo, New York that you had for the Asians of Atlanta, Georgia? If President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris are not in Buffalo within 72 hours, counting from 3 p.m. yesterday when the massacre happened. If the president and vice president are not on the ground in Buffalo meeting with the black community within 72 hours of 3 p.m. yesterday, I better not catch a Negro. I better not see a Negro nowhere in the United States at any election poll on November the 3rd voting for any Democrats. They don't vote anyway. They don't even care. They I'm don't say care. I'm going to say it again. It... They don't care. All these black people, I don't care if y'all just get mad at me. That's the only time y'all unite is to put y'all slave master back in place where he need to be in that White House. Over 90% of black people voted for Biden, and Biden and Kamala told us they were not going to do anything for us. No, they're not going to do anything for us. And they told you up front and you still voted. So, no, you're not going to get no hate crime bill. If you do, I'll be surprised. Why should he? Why should he? Look at us as being ignorant anyway. We're going to vote for him anyway. Because that's what we do. We like to have a slave master. That's what we like having. That's how he figured. He the slave master and we his slaves. And he ain't got to do nothing for us. And we don't demand nothing. Some of y'all, I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for Trump neither. Of uh, Peyton Gendron walking into that courtroom in the orange-white jumpsuit. As we look at these pictures that we're seeing for the very first time, Aaron, tell us exactly what happened in court. This was a very brief appearance, Kira, for Peyton Gendron, who's accused so far of one count of first-degree murder, uh, to which his attorney says he'll plead not guilty. The case is now with a grand jury in Erie County, and so this particular hearing... Will ...services, case management, and mental health support. In addition to helping marginalized communities, Governor Hochul says it also sends a strong message against bias incidents. We will continue to fight back against every form of hate as it rears its ugly head. We have your backs, and we stand with the Asian community, 1.6 million strong here in the state of New York. 
$6.8 million will go to the Asian American Federation, which will direct funding to 59 organizations. Like I said, that policy is only reserved for Black Americans. Everybody else gets whatever they want. They make it rain on every other group. Okay, y'all, uh, back it up. The policies he was talking about was what Obama uh, put in place. He said uh, that uh, this is not the American way. When uh, to sign a hate crime specifically for black people, and that's why he said it only applies to black people because every other ethnic group, they have a hate crime bill. We don't. The government makes it rain on the AAPI community. They make it rain on Native Americans to the tune of billions upon billions of dollars. But when it comes to you, now we're going to turn this conversation that's happening about the Buffalo shooting uh, into white replacement theory, into gun control, into uh, social media censorship and how we need to do a little bit something more about, you know, making sure that misinformation doesn't get out there to corrupt the mind of young 18 year olds. Has anybody noticed how they keep saying the age of the shooter yes. as if that matters. Yeah. He's only 18. He's only 18. So what? He's a grown man. That was a grown man that went into that store and pulled the trigger on those people. Okay.